If you're at all compelled about the longevity and expansion of the Miz T Show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links below. Hey there, fools. Big T here with another video. And in this video, I'll be talking about the, what I feel, the needless uh, defense of the Nintendo Switch and the ramifications of uh, that type of content on channels like mine. Uh, as you all know, the Switch just passed 10 million uh, consoles sold, which is pretty amazing in nine months. Um, I think it took PS4 um, from from uh, from its launch day to uh, the first 10 months to get 10 million. And you got to also remember that was including or at least... It started in the holiday season where the switch started in March so I think that's also pretty cool um, but you know there's you know the switch isn't perfect um, I've talked about some of the issues with it uh, I talked about uh, you know some of the things it's missing like uh, the online needs to get better um, there's obviously games out there that aren't really optimized well for the for the console uh, Troll and I comes to mind and recently WWE uh, 2k18 is just unplayable <laughs> it's unplayable garbage which saddens me because it was one of the games I was uh, gonna get to support um, but I haven't played a wrestling game in so long and I thought it'd be cool uh, to support a WWE uh, uh, 2k games on uh, switch with uh, their port but it's a, it's a travesty and I will not buy it in its in this state uh, not even close but you know so because the switch is not absolutely perfect um, there are things to quote unquote defend about it which don't need a defense like obviously the uh, WWE 2k18 is indefensible um, and to a lesser extent like Xenoblade Chronicles portable mode uh, looks not very good it at times looks bad to terrible um, but you know I've played it uh, handheld mode it's fine it's not great um, but there's really nothing to defend it's in it's it's not very optimized for handheld mode which mostly is fine for me um, because you know um, I'm mostly playing it on the TV but you know there's the grindy nature of a game like uh, of like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and it'd be great to be able to do things and not be squinting at the screen <laughs> do things uh, uh, off screen or off TV uh, while you're watching a TV show or uh, like Terminator Juice I like to occasionally play while watching football um, and other sport game uh, sporting events uh, and it's just cool to be able to you know grind out things like that on your uh, handheld mode without it looking terrible so um, there's nothing to defend as far as like it looking bad but the thing is most games uh, on the switch pretty much 95% I'd say of games that came out for the switch look really good to even great on uh on handheld mode and but quote unquote haters or as i like to call them nintendo separatists will just take the one instance and make it seem like it's like every game is terrible that way which is not even close to being the case most games look great i just got ukulele i think it looks even better um i'm sure that's not the case but it just feels like it looks better handheld mode uh and the game, you know, looks great. Uh, you're gonna be looking at footage of uh, footage of uh, Floor Kids, which is an indie game I recently picked up. Uh, when I saw it on the the Nindies reel, I just thought it was awesome, and it's damn cool. Uh, to this break dance rhythm game, it's awesome. I'd highly recommend it. Um, a lot of fun if you're into you know hip hop and break dancing culture. I think it's it's a really good rhythm game. So if you like rhythm games too. Uh, I would say pick it up uh, but um, you know back to what I'm talking about it's just like there's really no need to defend the switch because the switch is winning <laughs> like I had a video a few videos ago talking about how Nintendo was winning and this has nothing to do with 
the other console makers. Uh, like, it's one thing to call somebody a fanboy if they're actually being a fanboy. Oh my god, uh, this is great where everything else sucks ass. You know, that is uh, being a fanboy. Um, but some people get upset when you just mention that what you like uh, the console that you like is doing well just saying that hurts people's butts <laughs> and uh i don't know why i just think it's weird you just you're just stating facts um but like i said these nintendo separatists uh aka haters um they find they try to find the one thing uh you know they could form an argument about and just like pound you with it oh it's just that's you know this is terrible because of this and then They'll move the goalposts when uh, certain things come out to not be true. Like, they, oh, this game isn't coming, and then the game comes. And then they're like, oh, it doesn't look that good. <laughs> you know, so they move the goalposts, and it's just... At that point, you like I said, you're just being a separatist. You're just being haters at that point. But anyway, um, that's just kind of uh, the narrative I don't want to uh continue i don't i don't think i've ever done that really but um like uh the switch is doing well like it's going to continue to do well uh it's at 10 million now that's not even a year in like i said it's only nine months and it got that it's already a success okay the games are going to come uh that maybe weren't going to come in the first couple months before they realized what a success it was so the success is going to be perpetual so um, Nintendo, Nintendo made the mistake on the Wii U that it didn't make on the Switch, which is the biggest mistake to me was that they didn't lead with big Nintendo games. Um, I mean, they had like Nintendo Land and New Super Mario Brothers U, and those weren't big Nintendo games. They let third party lead, and you know you had shoddy third party ports for the the Wii U. And that wasn't compelling enough to get people to buy one. So they realized that they had to drive the install base with great games. And boy, did they come up with great games this year. Um, so there's, you know, the Switch is not as powerful as the console. Or the other consoles. Great. Got it. Knew that f when they first showed it. Um, there's nothing to defend about that. But you knew that going in like what you're not buying it for the power you're buying it for the convenience and you're buying it for great nintendo uh exclusives and uh you're buying it for the convenience of third party on the go so there's nothing you know to defend <laughs> about that there's no reason to even get into arguments with these guys about it because it's it's stupid and it's weird because a lot of these guys like some of these guys own switches <laughs> So it's like they're com finding all these things to complain about as they support the system, which is which is weird. It's like it, it's one thing to have legitimate complaints about something that you bought, but to basically hate on something or hating on a company for years and years and years, and then buy it basically because it sold well. And, and that's let's be honest, that's what it is. You know, it's because the Switch is selling that these Nintendo separatists uh, went out and bought the thing. It's not any other reason because all the stuff that they complain about from Nintendo is kind of still a thing. There's nothing really changed as far as that other than marketing and sales. So not only are these guys hater frauds, <laughs> they're also like hookers. They're like, <laughs> they're like they're like popularity horrors, like which is even sadder. It's just, it's strange and funny and just weird to to witness this. Um, but this is what the Switch has done. Like it's it's made hypocrites of a lot of people, and it's like I said, it's kind of funny but sad at the same time. But uh, you know, there's no reason to get into. I'm just bored with that stuff, man. It's just like move it on there's no reason to get into debates uh with people about this stuff because they move the goalposts for one and none of the stuff they're talking about is that compelling so um and you know like i said it, it leads into 
this whole situation leads into the, my content on my channel. Uh, as if you noticed, um, I've mostly already you know changed a lot in my style or whatever. Um, I want to uh, reincorporate some of the comedy st stuff I do, some of the skits, animation stuff I do more, and I can't do that. Uh, one because that stuff doesn't get the hits, and you know, as a creator, you want people to see your stuff. It's it's not about oh, I you know, I need you know the two or three dollars uh, maybe per video of of, of YouTube revenue. Uh, that I get from that as a, as a creator I don't know if people if you're not a creator if you're not a creative person if you don't you know make stuff um, as a creative you just want people to see your stuff and so like even my last video which I love doing love putting together uh, the uh, versus video of uh, Banjo Kazooie versus Super Mario 64 um, I love doing that but I know that video isn't gonna get the hits at least initially maybe in the long run the views will pick up, but at least initially that video isn't going to get the hits. And I spent a ton of time on that and, you know, time that I sometimes take away from gaming and time that I've even taken away from like work, <laughs> you know, stuff that I could be where I could be working on something that I am actually getting paid for. And it just, you know, maybe I'll, you know, uh, maybe I'll rush it or something like that because, I'm, you know, I like doing more creative stuff. And um, even though, you know, my my work is video editing and uh, producing and stuff, it's, just, it's not as like fun stuff. It's more, you know, structured, you know, corporate stuff. So um, that's why I started the Patreon or whatever, because I want to be able, I want to be free to make videos that I know aren't going to get as many views, at least initially. And uh and still have the support and I feel like I have the support from you guys who do really want to see that stuff who want to see me continue to do that and not just you know talk over videos or talk over gameplay which is fine a lot of people do that and that's their thing but I'm a more creative person and I'm I'm just in a spot where I don't want to uh, do that as much as I want to create fun cool things and uh, you know I just don't have the time but um, like I said I know that stuff doesn't get as many views and stuff where you're being a defendo <laughs> or you're talking about the haters, that stuff gets views, but I don't, I don't really care to do that stuff. Now I do it occasionally when I feel like, you know, um, that is an important thing to talk about or whatever, but it's not like, I know I can get, you know, thousands of views per video just doing that stuff. And that's just not what I want to do. I want to do more fun stuff. And eventually, you know, my, more creative stuff will pick up uh but you know initially i just kind of um i can't do that stuff because it takes so much time to make those types of videos so that's why i said if you care about the expansion of the mr t show um and you want to see more stuff like that uh please consider supporting the patreon um links are below uh they'll be below in every video um and uh yeah i just want to do more fun stuff I don't want to be defending the switch, which needs no defense just for views because I, I don't do this just for views. Like I do for views on stuff that I want views on and I want views on more of my you know, fun, creative stuff. And uh, uh, I know a lot of you guys uh, want to see that stuff, but it's hard for me to do it uh, because of time. It's time consuming. But yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about um defending if you will the switch do you think you know it's a necessary thing especially at this point um there's you know it's one thing to defend like i, I used to quote unquote defend the wii u but because i felt that and i still know that it has great games on it even with its flaws and i think it i believe it would have sold well had nintendo done what they did with the switch it's not you know obviously the concept of the switch is great uh, the form factor, but I think this the Wii U could have at least done decent done pretty well 25 million or so Had it led with great Nintendo games and not with you know third-party games that weren't that great and then um, Because they were having they were reeling from the lack of sales They was just always behind the eight ball after that, but anyway, yeah, let me know what you think about this video um, in the comments below 
I'd love to get your thoughts on that. And uh, thank you, as always, guys, for supporting the channel. Uh, a lot of you guys are really enthusiastic about the show. And like I said, I really want to make it a show show. Um, that's why I called it that from the beginning. And uh, you know, with, your, with your support, I can do that more. So uh, thanks again for watching and listening. And I'll see you fools next time. Peace out.